SS says, Bruce, I purchased both the ISO and security controls training. Great information. I'm about to start a new job as an ISO. Any tips on starting the new job? I have been an ISO for two years. Thank you. Tips for a new guy going into an ISO position. I would say the main tip is keep calm. Don't panic. Make sure that you don't take everything on yours. This is real. This is real. This is something that I learned over the years. Don't try to take everything on. This is what burns a lot of security guys out. And this is why a lot of people hate our guts. Because a lot of security guys get in and they want to be cops. They want to be like the police busting down doors and saying, you can't do that. Or it's supposed to be done like this. You got to remember, like, this is a team. Like, if you're an ISO, you're part of a team. You're one cog in the grand scheme of things as a part of the team, right? So you're going to have a user representative, right? They have different names for it, but it's like a an information owner, you know, that's going to guide you through the policies and the what end users expect from your system. You've got your system engineers. you got your system administrators. you got your senior leadership. All you guys are together to make this thing happen. So just realize, like, put yourself in context. You know, you're doing one piece of this uh, project. It's kind of like when, when you build a house. Like, when you build a house, you got somebody who does carpet. You got somebody who does electric. You got somebody who does drywall. Somebody who does a roof. Very rarely does somebody do everything, right? The person who does drywall doesn't necessarily know how to build a roof, uh, make a roof, or know how to do electricity or, or plumbing, right? You're the plumber. Just be the plumber. And if you have questions about the electricity, you know, talk to the electrician. That's their wheelhouse. So that would be my advice to you as a new ISO is don't try to take everything on. Don't try to be responsible for everything. The risk is supposed to be distributed, and the main person who takes the risk for the system is actually the uh, authorizing official, the head of agency, the, the CIO or whoever, the DAA. The person at the top has to sign for the risk. You're there to help the organization manage the risk. That's it. Don't try to take everything on. And one of the coolest things, like one of the best reactions I get is that when I tell them, hey, I'm here for you guys. I'm part of the team, right? That's the vibe I get give off, and that's exactly how I feel. And that's, I'm not one of those guys that comes in and is like, okay, you guys are doing this wrong, doing that wrong. You're doing, no, no. I'm part of the team. Let's fix this together. This is our problem. We are, as a team are going to fix this issue. That's how I feel about it. So that's the attitude you should go in with as an ISO, and people are going to love you.